I want to continue to push out Lithuania from their alliance in the Baltic region. That way, if I decide to maybe go to war with them all, I won't have to fight kind of all three of them at the same time. But first, I need to make some more money. I need to slow down and make some more money. Because it's only been about a year. Actually, not even. It's only been about like six months. Well, since we, because we, well, we were going over things, it, it's been like a year and six months through. But uh, nonetheless, I've got actually a project that I need to enact. So there's a few things that I was looking at over the break. What I kind of decided, you know, well, actually, I didn't necessarily decide, decide anything. There's a few things that I definitely like. Um, there's actually a lot of things that I like, especially in the military category. All this stuff would be really cool. Uh, unit Units recruitment cost. Unit attack modifier for the uh, for the armor divisions. I mean, I think that's what's going to really separate uh, our Russian forces versus pretty much everybody else uh, if we were to go after this. But again, this stuff is going to cost maintenance. It's going to cost gold. So I don't need to go after projects. Um, it might be best to wait. Uh, you know, going after score is always kind of a good thing. That is uh, that will not cost me any maintenance. It costs me initial. Uh, action points, which I actually I have that I don't have the money for that right now And again, I just got out of debt as Russia. So uh, maybe let's chill for a little bit Let's not do anything with uh, the projects just yet a lot of blocks that are forming Sing Singapore with uh, South Korea um, Brunei Brunei with uh, Indonesia am I saying that Brun? I don't know Wh whatever Bruno Mars with with, it, with Indonesia <laughs> uh, we've got <laughs> Anyways, I don't know it got weird China joined the block of Japan uh, Peru and the block of Brazil, so they're all they're all getting these friends. Austria has joined the UK. Oh my gosh, Belgium and Spain. Well, as long as nobody is around me. Oh, 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 yeah. How did that Israeli, Israeli-Palestinian war go? It looks like it's over, but um, ooh, yeah, that looks like nuclear fallout. I think there might have been. It, could Israel have dropped a few nukes, possibly? Maybe. I'm not sure exactly how we would tell. I don't think it shows us the region of, of others. Uh, nuclear management. I mean, the environment right now is fine, I guess. Uh, we do need to be careful. Nuclear winter is a possibility. So uh, we need to watch out for that. Well, I, I guess uh, I guess everything is fine. You guys didn't end up, ta end up taking over Palestine completely, though. Unless... Yeah, no, I don't, yeah, I don't think you did, surprisingly enough. Interesting. Maybe you did other things, though. Maybe you weren't trying to go for the complete annexation. Okay, so anyways, uh, I want to continue to just, like, destroy Lithuania. Uh, or not destroy, but really give them a hard time. So, um, or, or wait a second. So there's, uh, I, I can't decrease their, their relation. Not, not until another 33 days, which actually isn't too long was completed. Okay, so I just I just kind of spread trying to cause some civil unrest inside of Lithuania. We'll see uh, how that kind of affects them inside of their block. Let's go back to the political map mode. I think that might be the best Balti Balti uh, block of the Baltic. I don't know why I couldn't say that for a second. Uh, we also have a trade map mode, which by the way, uh, I could, there's a few projects actually that I could do to uh, affect this affect this screen. We've got score, which I think I should be doing pretty well and kind of. I mean, we're going to get an update on the score every, like, few... Jeez, I think it's, like, every few years? Or maybe it is every year. S somehow Switzerland is doing really well. I don't know how that is. Belgium, US, and then, and then China is just behind me. Every few years, yeah, it is every few years. The countries with the highest score are awarded special bonuses. Uh, these bonuses last until the next prize are awarded. Okay. Well, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Now, what I want to do is uh, we do want to... Ooh, uh, you know, maybe kind of affecting damage reputation. The only person that I can actually affect military-wise would be Lithuania. So maybe this isn't a terrible idea. I'm going to continue to decrease. I think we're going to, I think we want to do this first. Yeah, decrease relationship. 270 days, negative 12, which it's already it's already pretty bad. Let's do it. Let's do it and see where that goes. Relationship map mode. Or is it back up? Did it go back up because I waited for a little bit? Okay, so there's the R&D cooperation. Um, so global fundraising ordered. Uh, by the UN Security Council is created to uh, 
created an international research and development institute. The most generous donor will remain the main headquarters. Okay, that's not good because I'm not going to be generating at all to that stuff. Uh, maybe my own... Could my own HDI go up? Human develop development index? Possibly. Yeah, I guess it could. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, did I get... Did I get funding for this? I guess I did. Interesting. Wait, so what are, what are you doing next? What is the UN deciding to do next? Because I, I, I... This is the only thing just yet that they've decided to vote on. Uh-oh. What is this? Islamic State? Uh-oh. And our spies were caught. Ooh, spies were caught. That's not too good. Okay, so the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant at war with Iraq. So ISIS has attacked Iraq. I thought, I thought they would have already attacked. I guess not. High warmonger level in uh, in Russia. Okay, so right now I'm at 40. I was looking over that because I was a little worried about that over the break. Let's go ahead and decrease it. The few, there's a few things that I can do to decrease my warmongering. There's actually multiple policies I can go after to decrease my warmongering. Embassies really helps warmonger decrease over time. Or we could go after an immediate warmonger. Now, before I do anything, hold on. Let me see what my tasks want. Our country could use some uh, general improvement, introduce universal social care projects, advance to a higher uh, industry, industrial revolution. Uh, could that... Is that like a... Is that like a modern or, or late era industrial revolution? I guess so. National Improvement Projects. Okay. Well, either way, I'm going to get access to my other uh, project slot very soon. So we'll probably do one of those tasks. That's pretty much what it is. It's just asking me to do some tasks. I'll probably do that with the next slot. But right now, I want to affect... The, I do want to lower my... Uh, I don't really want to have any, actually. So you know what? Maybe just going after the embassies would, would work. How much is this going to cost me? 1,000 gold, 800. Oh my goodness. It's going to take 239 points, but it doesn't look like there's any maintenance to it. All right, let's go ahead and just do the embassies. That way, at the very least, when uh, when war does begin, we you know we can get that. We can we can. It's pretty much aggressive expansion if you think about it. From like uh, Red Alliance destroyed. Oh no, what does that mean? Is that the alliance? Is that is that our alliance? Okay, well, there's the score ranking, but I want to make sure that that wasn't with the Ukraine. I'm not, well, not the Ukraine. Uh, Belarus, no. That was not. Who is the Red Alliance, then? It sounds like it's me. That's That sounds like it would be uh, with me there. All right, well, I'm going to leave that alone, not worry about it too much. Good, good, good. Is it going down? It goes down automatically, but with embassies, when we when they enact that, it's going to go down way lower. It's because we got caught, that's why. From Lithuania, I see. Okay. Um, okay, so this is a mission. So, we have an election coming up. Now, as a totalitarian government, I don't have to accept the results, uh, but happiness is going, unhappiness is going to shoot way up. Um, or actually, wait a second, is this the... Accept changes system will change to authoritarian. So I could say no and stay a totalitarian government. Or it could change to authoritarianism. I don't want to cause that much unhappiness just yet. Uh, my leader from now on, no weaklings will uh, stand in the way of this uh, country's path to glory. People are storming the streets in celebration of your leadership. Uh, would you like to learn more about the changes? Uh, would you like to learn more? No. Okay, well I guess it's going to show me anyway. System. Yeah, what does this do to war? Low relations are needed to declare war. Uh, can request... Okay, well, that's easy. That's not that big of an issue. Uh, do I need to... I, I, I might need to core things also before I declare the war. Uh, I know that uh, through the tutorial, I had to, I had to uh, claim, a, claim a territory through a core. Low negative relation modifier with democracy. It's, it's not as bad. Democracies probably don't hate me as much. Nuclear attack is only available when defending. Ouch. Ouch, that kind of sucks. Because normally as Russia, I'm just dropping nukes all day. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Project implemented. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so what were some of these tasks? What, what, what did you guys want us to do? So I'm going after embassies already. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Tasks. Which one sounds good to us? 
Uh, reward. What's going to give us the highest reward, actually? So I get a bunch of action points here. Yeah, you know what? We want to do this. Um, Industrial Revolution. Okay, well, I, I, will, I will try that. <laughs> Unless that... Oh, you know, that might actually take more time than normal, though. So there's a way to... Uh, yeah, by the way, I didn't, I didn't show this off, but it, there's an easier way to kind of search through things. Uh, by the way, I didn't even show off this side of... <laughs> This a lot of the tree is uh, is there's there's a right side to it too. Ooh, censorship. Uh, there's also there's some funny policies that I really didn't get get to go over in the first video. Uh, population growth you can decrease. Personal control target. Um, you know there's lots of things that I can go to increase my score. But I don't think I want to do anything with that. Uh, fossil. There's green energy. This is where I think would be. You would think that this is where the, uh, ooh, infrastructure, even more score, improved bureaucracy, agriculture, industry. So I do have industry. Maybe I'll go after something else. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should. National Improvement Project. Yeah, because this, I actually don't know how to do this. It, it's not necessarily a project, Industrial Revolution. I mean, maybe it is, but um, let's do National Improvement uh, Project. Okay, so this is going to complete that task as well as give us a little bit of score. So uh, that sounds good. It's going to take 718 days. Ouch. All right, well, I'll go for it anyways because uh, we, we got to get something. We gotta keep doing something. Ooh, our economy's looking nice. Well, it goes up and down depending on the uh, the stock exchange. Do I wanna do I wanna, do I wanna be cooler with India? No, I did a little bit in the first video where I, I tried to improve my relations with them as as much as possible. Hold on, let me let me make sure that we're we're doing good. How are we? Where are we at? Forty one. Okay, so it started off at like thirty five. We did raise it up a little bit. Uh, raising it up again might not be a terrible idea. Now I could help the country. Oh, that's, that's going to cost me so much. Yeah, no, we don't want to do all that. I've got the action points for that, but, uh, yeah, no, we don't, we don't need to do all that. So I'll, I'll stay away. I'll stay away from that. Maybe I'll come to you later, India, and try to hook you up with some stuff, but not, now's, now's not the time. Yeah, now's definitely not, not the time. So these are all democratic states, right? Ah, that kind of sucks. Obviously, it would have been easier if, uh, if it wasn't. There's nothing diplomatically that I can do besides... Uh, well, declare war or decrease relations, which might not be a terrible idea because in order for me to go to war with them, I, I need to have our relationship low. Oh, it's, it's low enough. Yeah. Yeah, it is low enough. Okay, let's... Lots of blocks being joined. I'm, like, listening to all these buttons. Thank you. So my embassy should help uh, lower this, this warmongering penalty, which is at 32 right now. So hopefully we don't get caught here. But I'm going to try it. I've got a 60% chance of this going well for us let's try it let's try it out and just kind of cross our fingers that nothing terrible happens uh, Australia has left the UN Security Council that's doesn't sound like a good idea anti-warmonger uh, yeah ouch that's not good so that's gonna pass Japan proposes international justification for military conflicts against three countries with warmonger level above 45. Uh, yeah, that's not good. All right, well, this is, yeah, <laughs> the world's trying to stop me, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. What I would like to do, though, while we are on the subject of war, let's increase my military status. So let's get, let's start off with a few more infantry units. Oh, I have to I have to extend. I've already I'm already at my max. Hmm. All right, well then we'll see what happens with Estonia and then we might just jump into this war here. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, I think I think we'll have to just jump straight into it. Increase economy profile. And then unemployment is still pretty high. Why is that unemployment growth? Well, it's not growing, so that's good because of free weekends, bureaucracy, 
GDP growth. But unemployment is about to start growing again. I think. Oh, did we did we manage it? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, good. So we got some score out of it. We increased their unhappiness. Um, yeah, we'll see. Hey, they actually like us a little bit more now. I, I don't know if I wanted all that. <laughs> I don't think we really needed that. Someone conducted nuclear sabotage operation against our, our country. Uh-oh. Warhead quant... We just lost 30% of our nukes. Chance of successful nuclear attack, negative 25%. Ouch. Well, we weren't going to use it anyways. We weren't going to be able to use it because technically I'm an authoritarian right now. Uh, we can look at some of the kind of the factors that contribute to this. All right, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to kind of spread any more of that. Let me make sure there's no militaries that I can't affect. You're the only one. Army morale loss. Because I don't think you're going to leave your block. Wildly... Uh, Exaggerated tales of our power can easily break the enemy's fight to spirit. Okay, that's that's good. Um, army attack modifier for 150 days, negative two. So we need to talk. We need to attack within the next 150 days. If of course this goes through, if it's a success. If it's not, we still need to attack within a, a good amount of time. So warmongering, my warmonger value isn't as large right now, so I guess it's not too much of a concern. Finland? Hey, Finland, do you like us? Finland kind of likes us, surprisingly. Nope. Oh, wait, we've managed to catch agents from Japan. Oh, nice. Oh, well, that's good. Japan keeps messing with me. India's status in the stock exchange has been degraded. Oh, that's going to affect the economy. <laughs> uh, that, that's not going to be too good. How are we doing now? Well, maybe I should improve their competitiveness. It's going to cost me 20 action points, but I'm making a ton of action points. I'm going to improve all of them. So let's make them all a little bit more competitive. And I think I might want to remove Indonesia. Well, their GDP is actually pretty good. They're over 1,000 GDP. But our... Uh, but we don't have... Maybe I should include Belarus, huh? I'm going to get rid of Kazakhstan. And uh, it's going to take me some time before I can do it, but 261, 260 days basically. Uh, I'll include Belarus since they like me anyways, so why not? Yeah, I guess we'll I guess we'll try to do that and see how that goes. Block of Germany. How, what kind of German alliances are there right now? Uh oh, was complete was a complete disaster. Our spies were caught. Oh boy. So there goes our warmongering penalty back to 68 or 38. Now it's 36, so that's a little bit better. All right, well, we're going to go to war with these three, and we're not really going to be able to do much outside of that. National national movements in Greece. Uh, so, basically, Greek ambitions are reaching to the are reaching the top. Uh, talk about regaining the old lands of Greek population are the number one topic in the streets. Yes, we're... Yeah, we're living in interesting times. Okay, so I'm going to have to stop right there. Uh, we're going to be going to war with Estonia in the next video. Hopefully no one else, uh, Cambodia's left the, the Japanese block. And uh, funding results. Yeah, I didn't even try. I wasn't funding this at all. And the Olympic Games is coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they're going to want us to host because we're about to go to war. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> So we'll go to war in the next video, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I definitely don't think it's uh, it's going to go that smoothly, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.